everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to a new YouTube video. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today we are going to be talking about a very widely requested topic and that is how to photograph couples. And I don't mean this in a wedding or engagement scenario. I mean this more in a candid and, you know, kind of relaxed in the moment sort of photography. And I don't think there's a lot of videos about this necessarily on YouTube. There's a lot of videos about how to take engagement photos or how to take wedding photos. And I've done my fair share of that. I don't really think I'm best suited to explain that stuff to you guys, but there's a lot more talented wedding photographers out there that can explain that much better than I can. However, I think I really can explain to you guys how to take really candid in the moment photographs, especially of a couple. And I really want to kind of dive into that today. We're going to be explaining to you guys some tips and tricks that I've kind of learned over the years. And we're also going to be showing you guys some photos and behind the scenes video of a photo shoot that I'm doing tonight with uh, a few friends of mine. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to explain to you guys exactly how I go throughout this process. And yeah, let's get into it. So first and foremost, I think it's really important to have a rough idea of what you're going to be shooting. For me, this really helps to break down who the couple actually is and where I can kind of photograph them to their strengths. There's some great questions that you can ask yourself, stuff like, you know, who are they as a couple? What do they enjoy doing? Their personalities, what are they like? You know, are they shy? Are they more outgoing? Stuff like that is really great to ask because you can really kind of form an entire shoot around who these people are first and foremost. And then you can kind of, you know, build in little bits and pieces of the rest of the shoot. You really just want to capture the essence of who these people are. You know, even if you're just photographing some fun, candid in the moment photos like I'm going to be doing later tonight, or even if you're shooting an engagement or wedding, you know, this is all going to make sense for that because you really just need to know who these people are. Even simple things like spending time together before you actually take photos is obviously really helpful. You're able to, you know, actually understand who these people are and also they're going to be a lot more comfortable with you down the road. I obviously would highly recommend taking photos of a couple that you already know, especially if you're just taking these photos for fun or for your portfolio. It's going to be a lot more relaxed and easy going versus, you know, meeting someone for the first time. Also, it's really important to figure out what the shoot is actually going to be for. You know, is this going to be building out your portfolio? Is it going to be a paid shoot? There's a multitude of different things that this shoot could potentially be. And obviously you're going to have to structure the shoot around that as well. But if it's much more fun and in the moment, like I'm going to be shooting tonight, you know, I think you can kind of play around with more unique scenarios because it's okay to mess up versus if you're getting paid, you probably want to stick to your tried and true methods. So as I said, getting to know your subjects is incredibly important, especially if you want to get in the moment kind of candid photographs. The more that you can understand how these people work together, I think this is probably honestly the most important part out of all this to make the subjects feel comfortable and at ease and themselves. I think the shoot can definitely go a lot more smoothly. So also when planning out your shoot, I would say that location is incredibly important in order to ensure, you know, really nice, clean images, but also just to make sure that your subjects feel comfortable in front of the camera. And again, this kind of goes back to who these people are first and foremost, you know, if they enjoy nature, you're probably going to be more apt to shoot in natural environments versus, you know, in a big city and vice versa. You know, like it's really important to kind of cater the environment to whoever you're taking photos of. And these are really simple things that I think just often get overlooked. And the more that you can kind of do this before you actually pick up this camera and start firing away, you know, it's it's gonna help you a lot as a photographer understand who these people are and also just, you know, what you can do to make the shoot just go more smoothly in general. So when it comes to actually shooting the images, I don't necessarily have a clear cut formula on how to actually ensure really candid photographs, but I do have some methods that I've used in the past and I'm gonna kind of explain those to you guys as well. So I would say that definitely the less stagnant posing that you have your couple do, it's definitely going to be better all around, but I think especially if you're trying to get these in between candid moments, you're going to want more movement based posing. And what I mean by this is to actually think about your scene like a movie rather than an actual still frame. And you're going to start giving your couple a lot more movement based poses to do, you know, you're going to have them walk towards you, you're going to have them interact with each other and not just stand perfectly still because you don't really get a lot of emotion or reaction out of you know, your couple, but it actually really helps a lot because you can open the scene up and really be much more of a fly on the wall and understand that you can kind of move around while the subjects do what you have directed them to do. And all of a sudden you start to get these photos that really seem a lot more in the moment rather than just a stagnant photo. So in terms of equipment, I would definitely recommend a zoom lens, especially if you're looking to capture a lot more movement. I know a lot of wedding photographers really love the prime lenses and don't get me wrong, prime lenses are amazing. I've just found that the ability to have such a nice array of focal lengths to use when you're photographing movement, especially with people is really helpful because you can just kind of work with the scene as it develops. And sometimes you're going to need much more of a tight shot versus a wide shot and vice versa. And obviously this is why a zoom lens is so great. So when I am taking portraits, I do tend to overshoot. And I would say, you know, this is probably just a personal choice that I have, but I really love having a wide selection of images to choose from at the end. And a lot of times when you're taking these photos, if you shoot a little bit more quickly than you normally would, you're going to be capturing a lot of these little micro movements with hands and, you know, even facial expressions that really, you know, honestly make each image unique and you can really pick the best ones. And again, this is just a personal choice that I've, I've decided to do, but, you know, definitely consider it if you guys haven't 
already. So when it comes to interacting with your subjects, I find it very important to make the atmosphere of the shoot very upbeat and feel, you know, just kind of exciting versus, you know, just we're, we're snapping photos. It's nice and quiet. And a lot of the time people like to be stimulated while they're taking photos. And, you know, music is honestly a great choice for that. If you have a little speaker or something like that, it's great to bring that along. Especially if you're shooting outdoors, it really does help to just have something playing in the background. I think, you know, any sort of way that you guys can really kind of put your subjects at ease and make them feel much more comfortable. Again, if you already know these people it helps a lot you know if these are brand new people that you've never met before that's totally fine you can use a lot of these tips that I've talked about in order to really kind of get them to open up and feel a lot more comfortable in front of the camera so overall I think if you can really understand who this couple is and how you're trying to photograph them you know much more intention behind each image I really think that you can take a lot of this and apply it to almost all kinds of portrait photography to be honest as I said I'm mainly focusing on grabbing candid natural images but I think at the end of the day you know really it's just important to understand and who these people are that you're taking photos of and how they interact with each other and how they're ultimately going to interact with this big old camera that you're going to be pointing in their face. So I think all in all, I would just highly suggest the more pre-production that you can do for the shoe, it's really going to put you at ease and then ultimately put your subjects at ease as well. So if you guys have any questions, definitely leave them down below. Thank you so much as always for watching and we will see you guys next week.